Well, hello everybody. I am here to think through with you some ideas on how to be good neighbors uh, to our city in this time of pandemic. Uh, we all know the story of the Good Samaritan. Uh, someone gets injured, left, beaten, senseless on the side of the road, and a Samaritan who does not know him whatsoever or have any social connection to him does what other people do not. He stops, he makes himself vulnerable, he gets the man on his animal, he gets him rested, healed, he pays for it all. In other words, he bears the cost of helping someone who he doesn't know because Jesus then asks the question of the hearers, who is your neighbor? And the answer that the Good Samaritan story tells us is whoever's in need. And so what we want to think about is our call to help those in need, even if we don't know them or have social interaction. In this unprecedented time of social uncertainty and need, I think we're all figuring out how to help those immediately around us, our neighbors, other people in our condo buildings, we can always volunteer, or in our apartment buildings, uh, wherever we live, we can be very local there. We have learned to start reaching out to our coworkers. We've learned to start connecting with and reaching out to people who are in need in our small groups in our church. Those are good things. Don't stop doing those. Those are logical. But the story of the Good Samaritan says there's a call for us to be neighbors, good neighbors, good Samaritans in another way, to those who are in need who we may not know whatsoever. And so there are people, there are people who are struggling with working from home without childcare, but we don't know them. There are people on the streets, there are marginalized people groups in our city that we don't have regular interaction with, but they need us. And so let's think about how to do that. We have a diaconate, of course. We have government services we can connect with. But we also have the Grace Center for Mercy and Justice, whose purpose is to connect with partner groups and to reach out to those who are in the greatest need, who are, as it were, on the side of the road. And so you are going to see in links uh, on your screen opportunities to connect with the most marginalized, through partner agencies and things we are doing to help those who are, as it were, on the side of the Jericho Road. Would you come with us to the Jericho Road? Would you partner with us and these ministries to help? You can look for the links that are at the bottom that are uh, below this video that are on our webpage for the Grace Center for Mercy and Justice. Let us now lean into God's call to walk the Jericho Road, to show mercy and be a good neighbor to those in need. Thank you.